Please be seated. <clears throat> We're very pleased to be gathered today at Rockefeller Memorial Chapel. As always, at our annual convocation ceremony, our paramount mission is commemorating the achievements of our graduating students. On behalf of the faculty of the Division of the Humanities, I'm honored to extend warm congratulations and commendations to you, the exceptional scholars who will be recognized today. Your professors, families, and friends, those who have supported you through your studies, are all proud of your accomplishments and of the distinction you have now attained. We know that you will venture forth from the University of Chicago to become leaders, innovators, and persons of merit and accomplishment throughout the world, and that you will bring to your communities the benefits of an enriched and critical mind. The value of the enriched and critical mind is the subject of much debate in and beyond the humanities, especially now in our complex and perplexing world Many people question the practical utility of the humanistic enterprise, the study of human culture through history, literature, ancient and modern languages, philosophy, linguistics, art, and music, and are skeptical of the investment such an education requires. But the cost to society of not engaging in the renewal and advancement of human knowledge is too great to contemplate. Those who engage in research, teaching, and the renewal of knowledge, those who cultivate a deep level of self-examination and constancy of purpose will contribute to and help ensure a strong, self-governing nation. Robert Maynard Hutchins, the fifth president of the University of Chicago, wrote in the International Journal of Ethics in 1934, a university should be a center of rational thought. Certainly, it is more than a storehouse of rapidly aging facts. It should be the stronghold of those who insist on the exercise of reason. Its object is always understanding. Rational thought is the only basis of education and research. It has been responsible for our scientific successes. Its absence has been responsible for our bewilderment. A university is the place of all places to grapple with those fundamental principles which rational thought seeks to establish. The story behind the University of Chicago's motto is not one that many of us think about, and I'd like to take a minute to impart one more lesson to you. The motto, Crescat Scientia, Vita Excolatur is translated with a bit of grammatical license. Let knowledge grow from more to more, and so be human life enriched. This motto is not a direct quote from a venerable Latin source, but was constructed, fabricated by Professor Paul Shorey, a classicist here at the University of Chicago who was born in 1857 and died in 1934. The first part of the motto, Shorey liked the resonance of a phrase in the meditation composed by Alfred Lord Tennyson as a requiem for his friend Arthur Henry Hallam, published in 1894 as In Memoriam A.H.H., a meditation on the search for hope and great loss. The poem includes some of the most off-quoted lines in literature. "'Tis better to have loved and lost than never to have loved at all," from Canto 27. "'Nature read in tooth and claw," from Canto 56. And the following in the prologue. "'We have but faith we cannot know, for knowledge is of things we see, and yet we trust it comes from thee, a beam in darkness, let it grow. Let knowledge grow from more to more, but more of reverence in us dwell, that mind and soul, according well, may make one music as before. Shorey translated Tennyson's Let Knowledge Grow from More to More into Latin as Crescat Scientia. 
He then took a passage from the sixth book of Virgil's Aeneid, in which Aeneas is watching those souls happy in the sweet fields of Elysium, among whom are those who were faithful poets, singers worthy of Apollo, and those who improved life with discoveries in art or science, and those who by merit caused others to remember them. For the second half of the motto then, Shorey used the phrase, those who improved life with appropriate grammatical adjustments. He then added the connector, and so, to link the two phrases, yielding, let knowledge grow from more to more, and so be human life enriched. There are many lessons to be taken from this story of the university's motto. As you assume the reins of leadership in academia, business, government, and society with the knowledge you have gained here, you will be called upon to propose solutions for global problems. You will be asked to respond swiftly and decisively in an ever-expanding complex world. You will be challenged to innovate and to evaluate. As you do so, your actions, your deeds, your ethical positions will be informed by the values and lessons imparted by your communities and your university. I hope you will use what you have learned here at the university. Change it, adapt it, translate it, connect the various insights, and make them something new, your own, and worthy. May every one of you use to your best advantage what you have learned. May you make a difference in the challenging world you inherit, and may your lives reflect honor back to your families, your communities, and to the University of Chicago. Congratulations. As we celebrate the accomplishments of those who are graduating, we also celebrate members of our community for their accomplishments in teaching, mentoring, and scholarship. Eric Slaughter, Deputy Dean and Master of the Humanities Collegiate Division, will announce our first four awards today, given for excellence in teaching and scholarship, and for exemplary course design and syllabus construction by our graduate students. We are pleased to honor the Humanities graduate students receiving the Dean's Award for Graduate Student Teaching Excellence. We recognize Laura Culinary, a PhD candidate in the Department of Romance, Languages, and Literatures for her truly outstanding performance as a graduate student teacher for undergraduate and master's degree students. I am honored to confer the award for Graduate Student Teaching Excellence to Laura Culinary. Unfortunately, she could not join us today to receive her award in person. For the first time, we are honoring humanities graduate students who excel in outstanding course design. We honor three recipients this year with the new Stuart Tave Course Design Awards. First, we recognize Katrine Dowd, a PhD student in the Department of Music for exemplary course design. I am, I am honored to confer the Stuart Tave Course Design Award to Katrine Dowd. Second, we recognize Sam Gray, a PhD student in the Department of Linguistics for exemplary course design. I am honored to confer the Stuart Tave Course Design Award to Sam Gray. Third, we recognize Rivki Mondal, a PhD student in the Department of English Language and Literature for exemplary course design. I am honored to confer the Stuart Tave Course Design Award to Rivki Mondal.
For the Dean's Distinguished Dissertation Awards, Shay Wolf, Dean of Students, will honor a recent alumnus for his excellent scholarship. I now have the honor of conferring the Dean's Distinguished Dissertation Award. This award acknowledges the outstanding scholarly contributions of a dissertation completed in the Division of the Humanities. The 2023 award goes to Alexander Murphy, who earned his doctoral degree in the Department of East Asian Languages and Civilizations. For his superb dissertation, What the Ear Sees, Media, Performance, and the Politics of Voice in Japan, 1918 to 1942. For the Janelle M. Mueller Awards, Michelle Lowry, Academic Deputy Dean, will honor two outstanding recipients. I have the honor of conferring the Janelle M. Mueller Award for Excellence in Pedagogy, named in honor of former Dean of the Division of the Humanities, Janelle Mueller. This year, we have two recipients for this award that recognizes the contributions of lecturers, senior lecturers, and instructional professors within the Division of the Humanities. David Reinhardt, an assistant instructional professor in the Department of, of Linguistics, is the first recipient of this award. I am delighted to present David Reinhardt with the Janelle M. Mueller Award for Excellence in Pedagogy. Unfortunately, he could not join us today to receive his award in person. The second Janelle M. Mueller Award winner is Giuliano Sacomani, Assistant Instructional Professor in the Department of Romance Languages and Literatures. I am pleased to present Giulio Sacomani uh, with the Janelle M. Mueller Award for Excellence in Pedagogy. For the Faculty Awards for Excellence in Graduate Teaching and Mentoring, uh, Michelle Lowry, Academic Deputy Dean, will honor two outstanding recipients. I will now recognize the University-wide Teaching Awards for Excellence in Graduate Teaching and Mentoring. Our first recipient is Paula Jovene, Associate Professor in the Department of East Asian Languages and Civilizations and the College. I am pleased to present Paula Jovene with the Award for Excellence in Graduate Teaching and Mentoring. <laughs> this year's second recipient is David Welbury, the Leroy, the Leroy T. and Margaret Stefan Bau Carlson University Professor in the Department of Germanic Studies in the College. I have the honor of presenting David Welbury with the Award for Excellence in Graduate Teaching and Mentoring. Unfortunately, he could not join us today to receive his award in person. I now have the honor to bestow the Bobby Josephine Hernandez Shea AM 1993 and Morgan Chiawen Shea MBA 1993 Teaching Award. This award honors faculty members who guide the intellectual development of undergraduate students through exceptional teaching and mentoring. This year's exemplary recipient is Ellen Mackay, the Associate Professor in the Department of English Language and Literature and the College. I am honored to present Ellen Mackay with the Bobby Shea, Hernandez Shea, AM 1993, and Morgan Chia Wen Shea, MBA 1993 Teaching Award. Now it is our honor to recognize each individual student for their accomplishment in completing their program of studies in the degrees of Master of Arts, Master of Fine Arts, and Doctor of Philosophy.
Dean Robertson, as Dean of Students for the Division of the Humanities, I now have the honor to present these students who have successfully completed a program of advanced study in the humanities, culminating in the degree of Master of Arts. Ryan Alsop. <laughs> Marilise Alvarez Morales. Hunter Amory. Sky Juhe An. M. Angel. Andrea Michelle Avey. <laughs> Winston A. Benens Jr. <laughs> Jacob Botesh. <laughs> Nicholas Cabrera. <laughs> Sui Hu Chen. Lucia Galvez Chico. Liz Carell. Josephine Reagan Dawson. Jacob Deman. Abby Delio. William DeVito. <laughs> Jiaxin Dong. <laughs> Apollo L. Khatib. <laughs> Roxanne Fisher. <laughs> Diana Fraundel. Nay Grant. <laughs> Yunyang Gua. <laughs> Caitlin Chelsea Mantanona Gutierrez. <laughs> Alicia Hamlin. <laughs> Michaelin Haynes. Abraham Hirschman. <laughs> Shaihuan Michael Huang. <laughs> Ji Yen Huang. <laughs> Elizabeth Therese Iser. <laughs> Su Jin Zhang. Xiao Jean. Tarek Caribbean. Emily Kenville. Jin Hee Kim. Joshua Kim. Yan Ju Kim. Varvara Costina. Thunvi Rajendra Kulkarni. Natasha Kvesic. Jade Labrada. Katie Larson.
Marta Lasota. Colin Lavery. Adriana Lane. Ziki Vivian Lay. Maya Levy. Yu Jing Li. Suki Shishi Ling. Jai Yu Liu. Yujia Julia Liu. Mai Yun Liu. Shi En Liu. Ming Si Ma. Ronnie Mali. Nicholas Marabella. Benji Mathot. Rachel Maxey. Lauren Page McMillan. Wesley Mills. Michelle Miroshev. Jenna Novosel. Sichuan Pan. Antonia Pappas. Sumia Raman. Bhuvaneshwari Ramaswamy. Claire Rich. Caitlin Ricola. Leo Jacob Ross. Ramin Sahad. Charlotte Secrest. Yen Shing Shen. Subekshaya Sharesta. Erkut Sawyer. Charlotte Stender. Kaylee Stevens. Marley Stuver Williford. John Tomyor. Sydney Venser. Cam Mackay Ryant Wade. Shangwei Wang. Ding Mei Vong. Duo Wong. Elizabeth Wong. Lucia Xuan Wong. Pei Ji Wong. Tian Ying Wong. Zijia Wong. Cyrus V. Westerland. Christopher Scott Wilson. Yak Sin Shia. Zhao Yang Yen. Mai Young. 
Yuli Young. Hillary Ann Yarger. Hugh Wong Nicole Yip. Jiaxuan Zheng. Meishu Jian. Votian Zhan. Jaiki Zhang. Tong Tong Zhang. Yu Tong Zhang. Yangshan Zhao. Yushen Zhao. The Dean of Students, Shea Wolf, will now present the Master of Fine Arts graduates, while the Chair of the Department for Visual Arts, Matthew Jesse Jackson, will congratulate the department's new graduates. <laughs> Caleb Clementi. Shayun Firat. <laughs> Kieran Hobson. <laughs> Jules Corman. <laughs> Boa Han Leo. Jacob Browning Pett. <laughs> Tina Wong. <laughs> Xiaowen Wu.
As Dean of Students for the Division of the Humanities, I now have the honor to present the students who have attained scholarly distinction and have prepared a dissertation that contributes to knowledge in a particular field of research in the humanities, culminating in the degree of Doctor of Philosophy. Devin J. Borowski, Department of Music. Dissertation, Navigating Voices, Song, History, and Humanity in the British Imperial Project, 1770 to 1836. <laughs> Joseph Brewer, Department of Philosophy. Dissertation, Kant on Time and Human Cognition. Daniel Bernfin, Department of Germanic Studies and Philosophy, dissertation, Greater Than Itself, Value, Capital, and Involuntary Unemployment in Classical Political Economy. <laughs> Jadine Collingwood, Department of Art History, dissertation, a Tragic Suburban Mentality, Managerial Lyricism in Contemporary Art. Ariana Gass, Department of English Language and Literature and Theater and Performance Studies. Dissertation, The Body in Play, Embodiment in and Through Video Games. Anna Beatrice Gatula, Department of Music. Dissertation, Spectacles of a Nuclear Empire, Opera and Film in the American Atomic Age, 1945 to 2018. <laughs> Nell Shapiro Hawley, Department of South Asian Languages and Civilizations. Dissertation, The War That Wasn't, The Virupanavar, The Pankaratra, and The Fantasy Life of the Mahabharata. <laughs> Alexandra Hoffman, Department of Near Eastern Languages and Civilizations. Dissertation, Strong Warriors, Liminal Lovers, and Beardless Men, masculinities and embodiment in pre-modern Persian poetry. <laughs> Jordan Claire Johansson, Department of Classics. Dissertation, Flooding Borders, Gender, Human Ecology, and Ideology in the Telemic Porter between Egypt and Nubia. Alison Kanner Boten, Department of Near Eastern Languages and Civilizations. Dissertation, Maddening Love, Islamic Thought and the Politics of Desire in the Legend of Layla and Majnun. <laughs> Maria Kahutsini, Department of Music. Dissertation, For a While. Joshua Kluffenstein, Department of Music. Dissertation, The Practice of Music Theory in England Before the Civil War. <laughs> Errol Coyman, Department of Music. Dissertation, Listening for Secular Bodies, Western Art, Music, Occidentalism, and Belonging in Neoliberal Istanbul. Stephanie Lisa Craver, Department of Near Eastern Languages and Civilizations. Dissertation, Unbelievers in Times of War, 
Darwish, and Ravakovich's Poetics of Possibility in Palestine, Israel. Nicholas Kyle Longworth, Department of Near Eastern Languages and Civilizations. Dissertation, Islamic Bureaucrats in Late Antiquity, Administration and Elites during the Umayyad Caliphate, circa 60, 661 to 750 CE. <laughs> Alexander Scott Murphy, Department of East Asian Languages and Civilizations. Dissertation, What the Ear Sees, Media Performance and the Politics of the Voice in Japan, 1918 to 1942. <laughs> Esther Rone, Department of Linguistics. Dissertation, Scales, Alternatives, Context, Experimental Investigations into Scalar Inference. Doran G. Snook, Department of Near Eastern Languages and Civilizations, Dissertation, Social Memory, Scribalism, and the Book of Chronicles. Aurora Spears, Department of Cinema and Media Studies, Dissertation, Digging for Film History, Women, French Cinema, and Film Historiography, 1927 to 1978. Michael Stevens, Department of Philosophy, Dissertation, The Limits of Work. <laughs> Laura Stigliano, Department of Linguistics, Dissertation, The Silence of Syntax, a Theory of Ellipsis, Licensing, and Identity. <laughs> Michael Tabatowski, Department of Linguistics. Dissertation, Preferring to Learn, an Attitudinal Approach to Polar Questions. Yuting Than, Department of Music, Dissertation, Amnesia. <laughs> Carrie Taylor, Department of English Language and Literature, Dissertation, The Remaking of the English Landscape, Coal, Transport, and the Sense of Place in the Romantic Era. Sophia Valley Naj, Department of Art History, Dissertation, Vera Molnar's Programmed Abstraction, Computer Graphics and Geometric Abstract Art in Postwar Europe. <laughs> Jenru Zhou, Department of Art History, Dissertation, Between Virtual and Real, a New Architecture of the Mogao Caves, Dunhuang, China, 781 to 1036 CE. We have spent today celebrating you the graduates of the Division of the Humanities. Completing a course of graduate studies is an accomplishment of which you should be proud. But we must recognize that this achievement is not yours alone. It belongs also to those who have supported you through the years. And so I invite all graduates to rise and to turn around. <laughs> 
Please acknowledge and thank your partners, parents, children, family, and friends. And now if you'll turn back around and recognize the faculty and staff of this great university for all they have done to make you the accomplished person you are today. As you leave this, our 537th convocation, some of you will continue your formal education here at the University of Chicago or elsewhere, while others will start new careers inside or outside the academy. We, your teachers and mentors, trust that you will pursue your goals and aspirations with ambition tempered by wisdom, with discernment sharpened by critical reasoning, and with dedication fortified by ideals. May you prosper in your every undertaking. Good luck, Godspeed, and thank you. This now concludes the Division of the Humanities graduation and hooding ceremony of the 537th Convocation of the University of Chicago. We thank you all for bearing witness to today's ceremony. Congratulations and please join us at the reception on the East Lawn.